I welcome all of you on platform of your pre education and uh, those of you who have got call from NPCL for interview, they must take this document, prepare this document because you know some questions related to HR can be asked. Do you know something about NPCL? What do you know about NPCL? What do you know about nuclear reactors? Do you know how many nuclear reactors do we have? Uh, in your state, do we have nuclear reactors? Do we have nuclear reactor in Bihar? If no, then why don't why do you think there is no nuclear reactor in Bihar? So, what is the nuclear treaty India has? So, those kind of questions, you know, take this document and start preparing for that. And uh, also, you know that uh, for NPCL selection, intro has 100% weightage. You should prepare really well for that. Now, <coughs> let me tell you something about this document. It is available. First of all, you should know what is Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited. It is a public sector under Department of Atomic Energy and uh, you know he can ask you under what de uh, department does it come and Department of Atomic Energy comes under which ministry and who is the minister in charge that can be asked. And the main function of NPCIL is to operate and commission nuclear power plants. So that means as technocrat we should have some knowledge of nuclear power plants, electrical engineer, chemical engineers, civil engineers mechanical engineers, they should have some knowledge, instrumentation engineer, nuclear power plants. Do you know something about nuclear power plant? Mechanical engineers can be asked, do you know what kind of thermodynamic cycles are used in nuclear power plant? Last year, many questions came from this and mentors will tell you the questions that you can ask from this, from nuclear power plants related. Yes, now certain other in information, what are the other, when you go to the website of uh, Department of Atomic Energy, so you will find something about the information about fast breeding reactor, pressurized heavy water reactor. Last year there were questions from what is boiling water reactor, what is pressurized heavy water reactor, what is fast breeding reactors. So those, I mean information about reactors that is a part of your technical skill. So uh, our mentors obviously will make lot of videos on actual question asked last year, but these were some of the questions which I can think of as of now. Breeding reactors kya hota hai, usko breeding reactor kyun bolte hai? boiling water reactor, pressurized heavy water reactor, what do you mean by heavy water, those kind of questions you should prepare. Go through these details, as civil engineer why you want to join NPCL, sir designing, construction, operation, maintenance, ye sare ke sara kaam power plant ka, you know construction, this part, that is a part of civil engineer, so that is what you have to do. And then yes, uh, environmental management system, whenever we talk about power plants, we talk about environmental degradation also because power plant ke saath, especially thermal power plant, hydro power plant and nuclear power plant. He will compare these power plants with you. He will say which power plant has more pollution. What is the pollution of thermal power plant? Carbon dioxide. What is the pollution of hydro power plant? Soil pollution. What is the uh, pollution related to nuclear power plant? Nuclear waste. So those kind of things you should be very very clear and yes ISO certification related to that you should know. Uh, boiling water reactor kya hai, pressurized heavy water reactor kya hai, you should know that particular thing also. Then you know uh, some information about uh, pressurized heavy water reactors, kya hota hai, how you have to understand if you are from Rajasthan, if you are from Tamil Nadu, you should know Rawat Bata, what is the Kundam Kulam nuclear power station, you should know about that. <laughs> nuclear power plants, uh, what is what is NPCL doing? Are you knowing what is NPCL, when was it found and what is the headquarter of NPCL, who is the CMD of NPCL, those kind of things, how many uh, reactors we have uh, as of now. So those kind of informations are very, very important related to this. As I told you, you take this document and start preparing this document. So if you are from Maharashtra, you should know uh, Tarapur has a uh, you know boiling water reactor and then Rawat Vata in Rajasthan and uh, similarly if you go to Uttar Pradesh you have Narora, Kakrapar from uh, Gujarat, Kaga in Karnataka, Kudum Kulam in Tamil Nadu and then the question comes what is the total installed capacity power plant. In entire India what is the requirement of energy and what is the energy which is met by nuclear power plant and is nuclear uh, energy uh, renewable form of energy or conventional form of energy. Is it a renewable form of energy then it is a sustainable form of energy right. So nuclear power energy what is the significance of nuclear energy in India and why we are not 
harnessing more nuclear energy as of now this 7000 or 8000 megawatt or something what is this contribution you know this is uh, he is giving installed capacity megawatt so total installed capacity you can say sir 7300 megawatt so total india mein kitna let's say 1 lakh megawatt or 1 lakh 5 uh, 50000 megawatt so only 4 5% of nuclear energy is uh, contributing why not more why not more energy is contributing into that so that kind of questions can be asked to you and uh, capacity you know this is how it is under construction these are under construction so 7000 5000 you can understand these uh, construction so in haryana also now they are talking about in uh, gorakhpur haryana there is uh, some kind of power plant coming so you must have seen that only in some states we have nuclear reactors not in all states what about jharkhand chatisgarh bihar himachal pradesh uh, jammu and kashmir we don't have in all the states if you are from particular state this question can be asked last year this question was asked from a student from bihar why there is no nuclear reactor in bihar and one very important question now it is uh, i'm i'm getting it very important question was asked whenever you are to create or install a nuclear reactor that is the main activity of npcl whenever you have to install a new nuclear reactor what factors or parameters will you consider natural disaster sir cyclone nahi aana chahiye fukushima ka case dekh lo earthquake nahi aana chahiye natural disaster nahi hona chahiye so kis base pe tum decide karte ho on what basis do you decide where should be nuclear reactor that is important yes now uh, what is the vision what is the mission and what are the uh, you know core values of any particular organization that is very important so you should know what is the vision what is the mission and what are the core values of npcl those kind of things you should be aware you should know those kind of things objectives so what are the objectives as i told you take the uh, you know document take this document and prepare this document in detail and i will be asking you uh, my mentors will be asking you all these questions uh, during the interview so tarapur mein kitne uh, if you are from particular place like rajasthan if you are from maharashtra we are going to ask you kitna rajasthan jo rawat bata hai aapka power station usme kitne units hai aur kitne megawatt ke hain sir 100 megawatt ka ek unit hai 220 megawatt ke there are two units something like that is required uh, under construction also that information you have to gather now uh, this all i think safety performance yes so what is the meaning of safety so environment management system iso 14001 are you aware about this safety first production next you cannot get this everywhere in all the organization safety first production next that is the motto of npcil and what do you understand by iso 14000 or iso 18001 please go through all these things radioactive effluent uh environmental pollution how can you say nuclear power plant is a polluting uh, thing right what are the what is the pollution in nuclear power plant air pollution is not there soil pollution is not there then what kind of pollution this is the pollution you know radioactive effluent is the pollution there biodiversity converse, conservation every organization every public sector has a uh, corporate social responsibility environmental responsibility so you know npcl also has environmental Uh, stewardship program esp they know so you can always say sir uh, we are bothered about environmental pollution environmental things and all so you you should go on the website of npcl this is a document prepared uh, long back so you should go on the website of npcl and see what is the administrative hierarchy who is the cmd presently what are the board of directors just go through once and maybe if you can find some background of that okay do you know what is the background of cmd is a chemical engineer electrical engineer civil engineer what is the background and you should match with your background so that is what you should do and situation on nuclear power this is a fifth largest source of electricity in india and uh, presently contributing very less why nuclear power is contributing not more than 5% only 3.22% when it is uh, you know renewable form of energy when it is not that polluting and when india imports lot of uh, fossil fuel based fuels like uh, you know coal or you know petrol or crude oil india needs to uh, basically import crude oil for running its thermal power plant so why not nuclear power plant so what is the reason india is not going for nuclear power generation that is what you should know and uh, department uh, uh, you know uh, certain things 
Fukushima accident you should know there were two historical accidents in nuclear power plant one was Fukushima Japan jahan pe ek tsunami ke chalte aa gaya tha to wo aapka Tamil Nadu mein bhi aa sakta hai Tamil Nadu mein also tsunamis are there so that problem can be there also Tamil Nadu mein tsunami aa sakta hai jaisa Fukushima mein hai so how you make it safe because Japan is earthquake prone uh, country they have made it very safe for richter scale more than 8 so why how we can make very safe uh, power plant low capacity factor uh, low capacity factor is uh, uh, the main trouble of nuclear power uh, reactors in india so availability factor uh, low capacity factor uh, thorium based fuel hai. we do not have uranium we take uranium from other countries nuclear supplier group we take from them so those kind of things you should be aware you know so just keep uh, going for availability factor capacity factor these details are provided to you keep going for that and uh, what is the meaning of capacity factor i want you to read it and see this map carefully where are the uh, nuclear power reactors and what is the capacity of nuclear power reactors as of now uh, again uh, this is the same thing which uh, i think uh, we have the jatpura kaga whatever place you are active plants and where we are planning the plants those things you should do now generation is 2016 uh, 6 onward if you see uh, then nuclear power generation how it has gone that is the uh, basically chart it is you should know where npcl is npcl comes under nuclear uh, department of atomic energy and that comes and uh, comes under atomic energy commission visit the website of atomic energy commission what is the meaning of that and uh, what is atomic energy commission chairman presently atomic energy regulatory board is there and then uh, you know uh, operator of nuclear power plants at nuclear power corporation of india limited and then there is a Dep department of atomic energy and uh, then atomic energy regulatory board is there so little bit uh, you know idea about the administrative structure that you should have so if you see the uh, power generation capacity then you will find that yes hydro thermal thermal leads to 64 percent and nuclear leads to only two percent And you know what? As per COP26, Glasgow mein meeting with a conference of parties. Glasgow mein our Prime Minister went there and he said that by 2030, 50% of our 50% uh, of our energy need will be met by renewable energies. That is what he said. So as of now it is 20%, but 50% will be renewable energy and nuclear energy also we have to increase. So as of now, very less, 3% gas pass. You should know these particular details what is the energy as of now what is the total energy 3 lakh 44000 megawatt i believe these all details you will get it here so with different countries Kudam Kulam is with Russia. Kudam Kulam is with Russia and Kovada is also with Russia. So India is having largely with Russia. We could not get many more with the with the with this, but only with Russia we are having those kind of now. What is pressurized heavy water reactor? You know, heavy reactor is a D2O, deuterium, it's a coolant also and nuclear moderator also. Coolant also and nuclear moderator reduce the speed of nuclear uh, uranium under pressure you know it is kept under pressure to avoid boiling so that means temperature keeps on increasing as the boiling pressure increasing pressurized heavy water means you increase the pressure of heavy water so that high temperature uh, steam could be created in the power plant there is a meaning of it boiling water reactor go through this also i am sure the moment you go there you will find the engineering concept in that and you will find this U uranium fuel is very important topic plutonium uranium 235 uranium 238 is the natural uranium after that it is uh, you know enriched it is made uranium 235 india is very rich source of thorium but thorium directly cannot be used in nuclear reactors right that is how it is to be done plutonium thorium can you tell something about the nuclear uh, fuels does India have nuclear fuels those kind of questions right so I'm very sure this document uh, will help you 
to kick start your profession and then visit the website and come for your hr and your mock or with the team of your pedia and we are very sure we will do good in this interview thank you